welcome to sahels education today we are going to discuss about acids and alkalis in this lecture we will discuss about definition of acid and bases properties of acids and bases detecting acids and alkalis ph scale neutralization reactions arrhenius concept according to arrhenius concept acids produce hydrogen ions when they dissolve in water bases produce hydroxide ions when they dissolve in water properties of acids sour taste acid turns blue litmus to red corrosive in nature reactions with metals acid react with the metal to form salt and water acid react with the bases to form salt and water this reaction is known as neutralization reaction acid react with the metal oxides to form salt and water acid react with the metal carbonate or bicarbonates to form salt carbon dioxide and water properties of bases bitter taste slippery or soapy texture they turn red litmus blue corrosive nature base react with the metal to form salt and hydrogen base react with the non metal oxide to form salt and water bases react with acid to form salt and water this reaction is known as neutralization reaction base plus acid gives salt and water detecting acids and alkalis robert boyle was an irish scientist who lived just over 300 years ago robert boyle studied acids and alkalis and decided to try and find an easy way to identify them when robert boyle tested acids and alkalis with the juice from red cabbage he found a way to identify them easily when acid is added to red cabbage juice it turns from purple to red when alkali is added the juice turns from purple to green litmus is used as a solution litmus solution is purple but it turns red when it comes into contact with an acid when an alkali comes into contact with a purple litmus solution the solution turns blue chemists use substances called indicators which change color when they are added to alkalis there are over 20 indicators that scientists use here are some examples blue litmus methyl orange methyl red phenolphthalein red litmus for example phenolphthalein is colorless in acid solution and pink in alkaline solution ph scale to compare the strength of acid and alkali we can use ph scale this ph scale invented by soren sorensen a danish scientist in 1909 the letters p and h stands for power of hydrogen because this is an element that is found in acids which takes an active part in their chemical reactions the ph scale runs from 0 to 14 on this scale the strongest acid is 0 and the strongest alkali is 14 A strong acid has a pH of 0 to 2. A weak acid has a pH of 3 to 
A weak alkali has a pH of 8 to 11 and a strong alkali has a pH of 12 to 14. A solution with a pH of 7 is neutral. It is neither an acid nor an alkali. An electrical instrument called a pH meter is used to measure the pH of an acid or alkali accurately. For general laboratory use, the pH of an acid or an alkali is measured with universal indicators. Universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators. By combining the indicators, a solution is made that gives different colors over the whole of the pH range. Here are some examples shown. Apple juice, the pH value is 3. Baking soda, pH value 9. Milk, pH value 6. Black coffee, pH value 5. Neutralization. When an acid reacts with an alkali, a process called a neutralization occurs in which a salt and water are formed. This reaction can be written as a general word equation. Acid plus alkali gives salt and water. Specific examples of neutralization reactions are Example 1. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus water. Sulfuric acid plus potassium hydroxide gives potassium sulfate and water. Nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium nitrate plus water. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydrogen carbonate gives sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is a white solid. It is not an alkali but dissolve in water to produce an alkaline solution. It also take part in neutralization reaction with acids but produces another substance as well as salt and water. It produces carbon dioxide. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is also called sodium bicarbonate. It has several uses in neutralization reactions. Uses of neutralization Insect stings A bee sting is acidic and may be neutralized by salt, which is an alkali. A wasp sting is alkaline and may be neutralized with vinegar, which is a weak acid. Curing indigestion. Indigestion is caused by the stomach making too much acid as it digests food. Sodium bicarbonate is used in some of the tablets that are made to cure indigestion. When a tablet of sodium bicarbonate is swallowed, the chemical dissolves to make an alkaline solution, which neutralizes the acid in the stomach and cure indigestion. Baking a cake. Baking powder contains a mixture of solid acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate, that is sodium bicarbonate. When the baking powder is mixed with water and flour to make cake, the acid and the sodium bicarbonate dissolve in the water and take part in a neutralization reaction. The carbon dioxide gas forms bubbles in the mixture and makes it rise to give the cake a light texture. Fighting a fire The soda acid fire extinguisher contains a bottle of sulfuric acid and a solution of sodium bicarbonate. When the plunger is struck or the extinguisher is 
turned upside down. The acid mixes with the sodium bicarbonate solution and neutralization reaction takes place. The pressure of the carbon dioxide produced in the reaction pushes the water out of the extinguisher and onto the fire. Improving crop growth. Acidity in the soil affects the growth of crops. It makes them produce less food. Lime, calcium hydroxide, is used to neutralize acidity in soil. When this lime is applied to field, it makes them appear temporarily white in color. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel for more educational videos.